right, people may have conspired against you and plotted to take you out. There are people in this life who want to see you down. It is joy to them when they hear of your news that you have fallen. There are people who have set up traps for you. But God will disappoint them. All their plans will not work. Because God is with you, brothers and sisters. God is for you. And if you choose to be for God, he will not disappoint you. He is always with you. Now, I want to read you a scripture that is in the book of Genesis 37, 18 to 24. Genesis 37, 18 to 24. And it reads, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they say to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come, therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit, and we shall say, Some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of these dreams. But Reuben had it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness, and do not lay a hand on him, that he may deliver him out of their hands, and bring him back to his father. So it came to pass, when Joseph had come to his brothers, that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. Now this scripture talks about Joseph, and Joseph was a dreamer. And whenever Joseph would tell his dreams to his brothers, to his family. They hated him for it. Now the scripture says that when they saw him afar, when they saw Joseph afar, even before he came near them, they conspired to kill him. There are some people in this life who have seen you afar, even before you come next to them, even before you come close to them to them, even before even a word proceeds out of your mouth, they have conspired to kill you. They have planned and plotted your destruction, but they will not prevail. Now 19 says, then they say to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say, Some wild beast has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. There are people who have seen you from afar. And they are jealous of your dreams. That's why you see it's very important not to tell everyone that you come across your dreams. Because there are some who are interested in killing your dreams. They want to abort your dreams. Joseph's brothers did not like him. They did not want his dreams. In fact, they referred to him as a dreamer. They had plotted to cast him in some pit. And they had even uh, prepared words to say that if they ask him where is, if they ask them where Joseph was, they would lie to his father that Joseph had been devoured by some wild beast. His brothers had evil plans for him. There are people whom you call friends, whom you call brothers. Yes, they may not be your real brothers, but they have evil plans for you, 
But glory to God. God has plans for you. He has a brighter future for you. He has plans to prosper you. Now, I love what 21 says. Because out of the people who wanted to kill him, one of them, by the names of Reuben, it seems like he did not want Joseph to die. This is what Reuben said. Reuben heard of it and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. And Reuben said to them, shed no blood, but cast him into this pit, which is in the wilderness. And do not lay a hand on him, that he may deliver him out of their hands and bring him back to his father. While there are people who are about to uh, destroy your life, among them could be somebody who will deliver you. Among them, there is somebody who God is going to use to deliver you out of of your tormentors to deliver you out of those who are ready to destroy your life. There is a Reuben among those that are about to destroy you. Do not be worried because God will set even your enemy to deliver you. God will use somebody you did not expect to deliver you. Now, the Bible says that so it came to pass when Joseph had come to his brothers, my God, that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the tunic of many colors that was on him. Then they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, and there was no water in it. Some of you have stripped you off of what belongs to you. They have taken your possession and they have tried to cast you into a pit, a pit that is empty. They have tried to isolate you away from the rest. Joseph was put in a place that is empty, in a place that there is no water. How diabolic that was. His siblings meant him evil, but God meant good for him. Glory to God. People have meant evil for you. They have cast you out. They have put you in all sorts of situations. Most of the conditions that you are, you are going through, there is somebody close to you who is responsible for it. That condition that you are going through, Somebody has put you into it. And they, they are people, actually, who are responsible for your situation. But they keep on pretending as though they are your friends. They keep pretending as though they mean good for you. They keep acting as though they are your confidants. And yet, they are your enemies. They keep acting as though they are your comrades, and yet they are your adversaries. But God will deliver you from them. That pit, brothers and sisters, will not destroy you. That pit will lead you only to your destination. Now, when you read the scripture, is that his brothers thought that they were uh, destroying Joseph, not knowing that Joseph was going right into his destiny his destination, because Egypt was his place of destiny. Some of you are in a land that you may think it is terrible. Yet that land, that point of affliction, that place could be your destiny. God will use you in that mess that you have found yourself in and it, it will be turn out to glorify God. Well, I hope this word has been a blessing to you. I hope it has encouraged you. And listen, go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know in the comment section. And God will bless you. Now, until next time, shalom.